Music lovers, hey, we are celebrating classic music on vinyl, and this week, this very week, is a special week because it is the 25th episode of Classic Music on Vinyl, yay, we did it! So, the album of the week is courtesy of Source Records, and it is entitled Bustin' Loose by Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. By the way, special, special shout out to my aunt Gwen Benton. Okay, who she definitely made sure her presence is known. May she rest in peace and she has left behind a wonderful legacy, including some good classic music on vinyl. Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers consist of Chuck Brown on guitar and lead vocals, John J.B. Buchanan synthesizer trombone vocals, Donald Tillery trumpet, tambourines vocals, Leroy Fleming tenor sax flute, timbales vocals, Jerry Wildman Wilder bass vocals, Gregory Bright Moments Duran congas percussion, Curtis Johnson organ, Skip Fennel keyboards, Ricardo Tricky Sugarfoot Wellman drums. Also on select songs, Leron Young lead guitar, Don Ronaldo strings. All songs arranged by the Soul Searchers except Never Gonna Give You Up and Could It Be Love, arranged by James Purdy. Engineer Carl Parula, assistant engineer J.D. Stewart, Frank Loria, mixing engineers Carl Parulo, Kenny Present. Recorded at Sigma Sound Studios, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, mastered at Frankfurt Wayne Recording Labs, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This album has two sides, three songs on side one and four songs on side two. They are as follows. Bustin' Loose, C. Brown, Never Gonna Give You Up, K. Gamble, L. Huff, J. Butler. If It Ain't Funky, C. Brown, side two. I Got You Now, C. Brown, J. Buchanan, L. Fleming, C. Johnson, D. Tillery, J. Wilder. Could It Be Love, S. Chevalier, J. Purdy, Game 7, and Beto Sambato, both C. Brown, J. Buchanan, L. Fleming, C. Johnson, D. Tillery, and J. Wilder. Now for some history. Chuck Brown, the godfather of Go-Go, came to Washington, D.C. at the age of five with his mother from Gatson, North Carolina. By 1968, he formed the Soul Searchers. You get that African root feel with that percussion, Brown explained. You might drop a little music, drop some lyrics, you drop some audience participation, some chants, and it became a style after all the other local bands adapted to it. Our music has developed a very positive vibe, he said. A positive vibe that's love. Bustin' Loose became Brown's first album to chart on the Billboard 200, where it peaked at number 31. On August 10th, 1979, Bustin' Loose was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America for shipments of 500,000 copies in the United States. Yes. What is your favorite song on this album? Leave it in the comment section below. This has been Marquita Sharon, singer, songwriter, and music journalist, signing out. 